Hello, beautiful Diamonds of Light. It's your girl, Diamond of Light. And I'm up here with an intuitive energy reading for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. I speak all as well with each and every one of you all. Today is April 27th, 2023. And I'm going to give an intuitive energy reading for April the 28th through May the 1st, 2023. Basically, the last little essence of April. But once again, this energy could have already happened. Uh, it might happen later on. It might not even resonate at all. Please only take what resonates because I always say a lot of the energy that I pick up on is my energy. But I do read for the collective. So it could be something that you are experienced to across the board. <clears throat> so take what resonates. How have my day been? Oh, my day been, uh, I woke up a little late. I was tired. It was hard for me to get up this morning. I felt very tired. I woke up with a headache. Of course, they always play me your great energy, but I'm still here. I'm still here. I was guided to put on my transformation. <clears throat> my um painting. This is one of my arts, okay? This is my artwork. This is the transformation, all right? This is the earth and the galaxy and the sun and all this stuff. So this is, I was guided to put this up. So I was guided to put this on. So, you know, transformation taking place, whether it's, um, you know, you are ascending and evolving to the highest version of yourself, you're transforming into, you know, a new um, era of your life, you're transforming uh, with your consciousness, with your energy, your frequency vibrations, or somebody could literally be transforming, like, you know, um, transforming, transcending, leaving this planet, all right? <clears throat> I don't know, it's, it's the sum of both spirits in, so... But yeah, it was hard for me to get up this morning. And, um, but because, yes, that's what they be doing. They be trying to do that death magic on me and to cause me to transform. But, well, I'm still here. I'm just transforming energetically, evolving, um, and just giving gratitude to another beautiful day. It's beautiful outside. I haven't been out there yet, but it's beautiful. Um, the energies have been intense, too. I don't know if y'all been feeling these energies, these waves coming off the sun or coming off. Make sure you ground and brace yourself. A lot of you, as I have yesterday when I was meditating, <laughs> and I hadn't felt this energy in a while, but I realized I really feel that energy immensely during the spring and summer. So you could be feeling like you're out of your body a lot. Like, what I'm trying to say is like, you can feel like you're here, but not here. You can feel like strange. Like, I can't explain it. It's like, you know you're here and you're looking, but you can still feel like something, like you're something, something else is going on, like you're somewhere else. Like you, you can feel expanded is the word I want to say. So you can feel like you're here, but you're also somewhere else, your energy. So you can be, feel like your energy is really, Spirit said what it is, is your energy is, is expanding. And you're basically um, having a semi-outer outer body experience. So you can feel very spacey is another word I want to give it. So you can feel like a very like not there, you know, translucent, I can say. You can just feel like you're just not all the way there, you know. And you can be going into a trance. Or you, you can find yourself going to a lot of trances, like standstills, like, mm, and just a pause and you kind of looking off. And it's like that feeling of that I'm here, but... I'm not here kind of feeling so and that's just the energetic shifts taking place um a lot of uploads that's your soul actually being integrated and you're receiving down uh, up upgrades uploads downloads whatever you want to see so, so, you know activations is what you're getting um DNA code is on um, your DNA is getting cut on it's getting altered it's just energetically though <clears throat> okay Massive upgrades going to be going on during the spring and, and summer. So that's a lot of transformations that's taking place too. So you, by the end of the summer, you can be a whole nother different, went to a whole nother different consciousness, a whole nother different essence of your life. Like this, during the spring and the summer, it's going to be a lot of change, changes on a macro, like on the planet, like never before. And on a micro individually in your life you're going to see massive changes depending on what energy you put out is the energy that you're going to experience. Okay. Um, 
So make sure you stand in your heart space. Make sure you're trying to stay focused, positive. Um, I have noticed that I've been feeling a lot of projection energies on me. Like, and I know it's not my thoughts. I know like people have been trying to send me a lot of energies to make me feel like sad, like, you know, questioning myself. Like, I know it's not me because I'm very, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll come out of nowhere. Crows crocking for confirmation. All right. And yeah, because the crows just ran up in one tree and then the little birds ran out the tree. So people are trying to send you negative energies so so you can run from what you've been working on, from you can run, run from your growth. Because this is a tall tree I'm looking at. And the birds ran off. So somebody or some people or some somebody, whether it's thoughts, actual spell work or whatever the case, are people projecting on you? Because Spirit been showing me like it's a lot of people, especially one person in particular that's very mad because I but we've cut them off. But my thing is, you have to take accountability for your actions. People can no, not be upset with no one but themselves. And then you have to forgive yourself and heal. You can't get mad if people don't want to have nothing to do with you anymore because you know you wronged them. And you got busted. So you disgusted. You got to deal with that. <laughs> People have the right to not, you can, you have to forgive people and you can love them from a distance. People have the right to not want to deal with family members. I don't care if it's your own children, your mother, your father, your whoever, your grandparent, your, 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 it don't matter. <clears throat> if you know that these people has been reluctantly using you, abusing you, doing spell work on you, and you know that they have been out to hurt you, literally, and you know this from your heart, whether they think they, because they always expose themselves, and you cut these people off. Y'all out there who've been cut off have to take accountability. Y'all out here still mad because at people because they don't want to have nothing to do with y'all. So y'all still out here doing spell work, sending negative thoughts, and you know, want people to think that people don't want to have nothing to do with y'all because they did y'all wrong. People, let me tell you something. If a person is mad or complaining about a person that cut them off, won't not have nothing to do with them, do you gotta ask yourself, what did that person do? What did you do to those people for them to not want to have nothing else to do with you? Cause if you're mad because somebody cut you off, it's something that you've done. So you need to look at yourself and take accountability. <laughs> So I'm picking up on people energy, man, because they can't pull on your energy no more. They can't manipulate you. They can't put that spell work on you no more because a lot of people are ciphering your energy anyway. was trying to stop you, you know, and I'm going to say this too. If you got special occasions coming up for you, birthdays or whatever, and people find that prime opportunity to want to do something for you and send you something, please don't take that shit. Send it back. If they cash out you some money or something, don't take that money. I'm telling you, if you haven't been talking to these people and you know you cut these people off and they try to find a prime time during holidays, like they love when Christmases and birthdays and stuff come around because now they got a chance to eat y'all in there because this is family stuff, right? Don't, don't take nothing from these people during this time because that's a perfect time for them to see you some stupid shit with magic on it and have you to have more setbacks. And if you don't take heed to that message, oh, you're going to wish to God you did. I'm praying right now that it don't happen for me. But it ain't going to happen to me because I'm not going to deal with nobody else shit. I'm not. I'm already asking God to protect me. If people want to be hard-headed and take stuff from people because of holidays, birthdays, or whatever, that's on them. And they're going to have to have a serious tower moment to see that. I keep been telling you, you still think this a game? Because things are starting to flow again, finally. Because you got to understand, when these people put a spell work on you, that energy can linger for a minute if you don't get it. And then once they can't be attached to you no more and sending you this energy, whether it's through conversation, whether it's through uh, money, whether it's through gifts, you got to be careful with that stuff because people do stuff like that. 
and they love to find prime times to come around and, and have a reason to do something for you or send you something, especially when that's the way that was uh, hexing you up in the first place. Don't take nothing from these people. Do not do it. Don't do it. If you want to wish me uh, a happy birthday or uh, happy holidays, whatever, that, hey, back to you. But I don't want nothing from nobody. I don't want nothing from nobody that I know do out here hurt me. And a call is coming through. It's an incoming suspected spam call. 209 can be significant. 330 That's the number. So, spams. Warning that the exclamation has a sign. Like, spam. Like, this is confirmation because people are trying. Warning. Don't do it. I'm getting a spam call as I'm saying this. Don't, don't, don't do it. Anyway, you know, I've already put the message out there. And if people don't take heed of that, you know, they're going to have to learn, though. A lot of people still have to learn the hard way. Even these people that's mad because you cut them off. They think they can still do spell work on you because they're blaming you. Because you don't want to have nothing else to do with them instead of taking accountability and knowing they was doing this wicked stuff in the first place. Come on now. But don't you notice, those of you who have healed and decided to cut these people off, that your life is much easier and things are flowing okay as long as you don't put these people in your energy? And then you allow energy, the divine energy within you, to bring in what's destined and meant for you for these people to stop blocking you? Because if they don't have any attachments to you, they can't send energy away. They don't mean they're not going to still try because they're still trying because I'm still picking up on it. And it's sad. I'm still picking up on the death magic. I'm still picking up on the moon. I'm still picking up on the finance. I'm still picking up on everybody still trying to off me because of inheritance. I'm, man, these people are on their way to jail and, and, and on their deathbed sick and some more shit. And they don't give a fuck. They don't because they're soulless. They don't. They, they already done did enough. But it's never too late to get in the line to start healing. It's never. But, you know, some people, they've been hurt all their life and it's all they know and they're not willing to change for the better. So you got to keep those people away from you. I don't care. People be like, family is family. No. Anything that's toxic, not good for us. I don't care who it is, even if it's your own damn dog. And that motherfucker keep doing stuff, biting you over and over again. If I know when your dog keep biting you, first it was just playful. You couldn't see. You thought he was just playing or it's, it's playing. And then I know it's, it start biting you to the point you bleed, but you don't want to let go of that dog because you got some type of sentimental attachment to it. And you like, maybe if you love it more, maybe you do this to it, maybe it's going to change. But no matter what you did, that dog kept biting you. You need to go ahead and see, see about uh, taking it to somewhere that can see what's going on with it. Not often it or nothing like that, but take it to people that know how to specialize in seeing what's going on with it. Maybe it needs some type of evaluation or something. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying don't be a fool and keep it around because uh, you can have some type of sentimental attachment. Maybe you need some disconnect from that dog for a minute to see. Take it to somebody that specializes in this type of stuff to see about this. With these people, you have to let them deal with their own energy and specialize in seeing about it through God and their own karma. Maybe if they get hit enough, they'll learn their lessons. It's some type of anime my um fiance was watching. I don't know the name of it. Oh my goodness. I, I, I'm going to go ask because I'm curious. I need y'all to know about this anime because it trips me out. And it has something to do with an octopus. Hold up. Okay, y'all. The name of the anime is called Assassination Classroom. And it's... Okay, this octopus, but the octopus was once a human or something. They thought it came from a planet. It supposedly destroyed the moon, and it supposedly had like a year to destroy the earth or some stuff like that. But this octopus couldn't be killed, all right? It was very intelligent, very um, fast. It can even fly, all right? And, and, and when it flew, it flew faster than like some type of the hot fastest jet that's here on this planet, all right? <laughs> so this octopus was very intelligent, and so... The military tried to kill this octopus, and they couldn't. So, 
what they did is this class, these kids that's trained as a, this training to be assassins. So they had him teach, you know, because they got some type of arrangement they had with him. I ain't got, I don't got to see bits and pieces of it, but it got interesting. So now I want to watch it. So anyway, it's this octopus. They couldn't kill it, but it was some type of, um, type of, um, material that they find that can hurt him. Right. But he regenerates real fast. Basically, it was indestructible. And they had him in this class with these assassination children, hoping that these children can lure him and outsmart him by being kids and kill him and stuff like that. They even sent this agent in, this chicken that was all beautiful and stuff. And she thought she was going to, you know, trick him. But he he uh, he he was already on the game. He said she he already knows she was, you know, he was all goo goo by her, right? And he changed different colors depending on his mood. And but he's original. I think his neutral color is yellow. But anyway, go watch that. It brings me to the point of <laughs> indestructible and no matter what people keep trying to do out here to 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 take you out. And it, and I think he going. I don't know if he's going to still... I think after he had his experiences, like, he was teaching back... This is what I'm trying to... He was teaching these... About these people having to go learn their lessons. The people got to learn his lessons. He was teaching these kids... Because he, he would never do nothing to hurt them, though. Like, he said, I can never hurt you. I can never hurt the children. I can never hurt y'all. So, me even know that he would never do nothing to hurt the children, right? I'm thinking, well, if he could never do nothing to hurt the children, children he won't let them kill him. Because he all smarts him at the time. I'm thinking that if he know he'll never do nothing to hurt his children, he's never going to do anything to destroy the earth because he loves those children. You understand? He has some type of connection to them, to the children. So he's always saving them, but he's always teaching them valuable lessons. And then they're learning from him and they're growing on to him too. Even though they really want to assassinate him, him in the beginning, it's like they all bond some type of relationship. But anyway... These people have to learn their lessons, and you have to know that you're indestructible. And the more that they see that they cannot take the beautiful diamonds of light out, the righteous ones, you know what I'm saying? And, it, and then, then me and my, because you got to think about, um, the government even tried to take this octopus out first. So if they can't, they're going to send the other people. So they go ops. So you got to understand, a lot of you beautiful diamonds of light always have people, your family, your friends, whoever you run into, these are ops. And this is a spiritual thing. So this is an energetic thing. This is a, this is bigger than just the, the flesh. But it all materializes in this reality as well, too. But and it goes, and it's crazy because I'm like confirmation across the board. And all I've seen is confirmation. <laughs> Excuse me. I seen myself as that octopus on that 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 anime. Assassination classroom. And I said, all of these people. All these people trying to go out their way to, and then, and then like, even he had formed a web. Like, it's different things that, like, I, the spirit been showing me through movies and shows and stuff like that and songs and music. And, like, even when I was, like, on the apps for the come up on TV, like, the show The Grim. Now, I had forgot that show even came out. I think it came out in... Uh, 2012, but the last season was in 2017, and out of nowhere yesterday, it shot, popped up. The Grim, the show called The Grim, and I've never watched the show. So, and then, it's like, something came up about the rough diamond, so, I be spirit, let me tell you something, that's why I say God is through all things. God is going to use every and anything from nature to technology, back to when, the other day when I was talking about my mom showed up through my phone through technology. And I know it was her because it was her name, it was the month she was born, and it says, is this where pies go when they die? She was letting me know that she, and it says technology is very intelligent, because God is all things, so it's going to use energy, it's all, <laughs> y'all, pay attention, to look at the signs, like everything speaks to us. Everything warns us. Everything shows stuff. Back to this anime. So I've seen that, like, basically, I'm indestructible. The beautiful down the light indestructible to a certain degree. You know what I'm saying? And no matter who try to hurt us, we still love. And we try to teach people. Regardless that we know y'all hurt. It hurts. We've hurt. We've done things we ain't proud of. Like, the octopus blew up the moon, supposedly. So it's like we done things we ain't part of, but we we learned our lessons, and since we've learned our lessons, we're here to show people that we don't have to be destructible. We don't have to hurt people because they hurt us. 
We're not out here hurting these people that's hurting us. They're hurting themselves. And along with them trying to hurt us, they're going to have to learn their lessons by getting karma and things going to be happening to them to the point, point, point where they're going to have to take accountability and see it as them. Everybody has to take accountability for their own energy. Even with things going with us, we have to take care of accountability for our own energy. All right? If you're not doing anything and you're in alignment, the energy that people see you won't, won't, um, won't pan out. That's how you know when you're in alignment. Not saying nothing won't happen because things can happen. But at the same time, you're divinely protected from a lot of things and most things. If you have an experience or something do happen, it's something that you have to do to check your own energy. Because there's things that we still do. Because we're human, we have to see ourselves. <sighs> you know, the energy's on fleet. I just, I come up here and I show up. And I do this for me, hoping to inspire others and be a expression. And it saddens me when I get up here and the energy I read, even when I was cleansing my cards. I still see the people still at the same thing, still trying to hurt the beautiful down the light, still trying to do death magic, still trying to take them out. Still, it's all about it's still the same stuff that they did. And I know a lot of people like, I wish they just stop. I wish something happened to them. Only thing I want to happen to these people is that. If it takes them to go through something to learn their lessons, to get an alignment, then allow them to see themselves and allow them to heal. That's all I want. I don't wish death on nobody. I lost my mama June. And I know how she passed away. And it ain't right. And people gotta people gonna have to deal with their karma. They're gonna have to see themselves. And when they do, we can't confirmation from the crow's park and two just flew by. So it could be two people in particular that still at it. It used to be three crows flying around here, but lately I've been seeing twos, things in twos. It's like one of them can't or one of them stopped out of the three. Somebody no longer wants to do something. Maybe they too ill or maybe they dealing with their own stuff right now. And so it's two people in particular that's still at it. That's really heavy at it. Not saying the third one ain't, but the third one ain't digging in as much. They having a bad back. And these other people are having karma too. They just they won't take accountability. They 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 got this I don't care mentality until it's too late. But um it's okay. Like I said, I don't that's why I'm gonna take too. I don't want nothing to happen to these people, but I can't control what they fake for themselves. It's their own energy. So what happened to them, I can't help that. That's on them, and I, I can't feel bad for them like to the point where it's gonna destroy me. It's going to hurt to see these people, if I even see it, go through what they go through. But I'm not out here trying to wish bad on nobody. I'm not out here doing magic on nobody. I don't have no hate towards these people. It breaks my heart that they won't heal and they got this type of endeavor or these crazy things towards me because they did what they've done. They won't take accountability, so they want me to pay for their actions. I refuse. That I will not do. That we cannot do, beautiful Dr. Delight, is take accountability or pay for other people's actions because they decided to hurt us. And don't, don't be getting revenge for people that hurt you. That's going to fuck you up in the end. You're going to end up in the fucking goddamn ditches. Revenge don't get you nowhere. <laughs> It don't. It gets you calm. You just got to let their people, the people deal with energy in their own timing. And we can't be like, when it's going to stop? When it's going to stop? It's, they're not going to stop till they stop. And then the thing is, as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, you're protected. Yeah, a lot of times this energy feel uncomfortable. But the energy that's coming here to upgrade and to transform everything, that's going to make you feel uncomfortable too. But let I'm going to let you know the act, the octopus. That's what spirit is saying. The octopus. You're indestructible. It's going to hurt sometimes. They can injure you sometimes. Sometimes they can find solutions or some ways to try to hurt you. And you can feel that shit. Because there's something that can't hurt the octopus. But they can't take him out. They haven't figured it out yet anyway. You see what I'm saying? So, because when you meant and destined to do something, you meant and destined to do with it. Okay. So, I know we get tired. I know we like, damn, you know, I get sick of dealing with that. They pull on my energy all day, every day. They take turns. I'm telling you, they be tic-tac-toeing on my ass. <laughs> but I'm still here. Even my uh, uh, teeth are deteriorating. Because spell work and stuff. 
And they didn't, I didn't, of course, I went and took and take, my teeth went and took and care of when I was little. When I was 10 years old, I had 16 cavities. As I got older, I took it for granted. I was on drugs at one point in time, and children take their calcium. And then, on top of that, because I be getting choked up and they be sending a lot of spell work my way, people used to be envious of my smile. So they did, they do spell work on my smile. So my teeth have started deteriorating like out of nowhere, and I've had to have work done already. So it's hereditary too. So yes, I'm dealing with issues with my teeth, and they are rotten, and I don't give a fuck who sees it. I don't care. Because I know sooner or later I'll be able to get it fixed. Like, I got these fixed. These up here ain't mine. <laughs> and I'm not afraid to tell nobody of it. About it. Just because you got, uh, it's people that had the best teeth in their mouth and they souls raggedy and fucked up. You understand? My teeth don't make me. My heart do. Period. What I have or don't have do not make me. I know this stuff can be fixed in divine timing. But one thing... I tried to go to a dentist over here and they didn't do no right work. And the one that I used to go to that actually helped me out, they were way what we used to be at. So we ain't had a car, so I ain't been able to get nowhere. But now that we got transportation again, oh, I'm finna go see about it. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't care. If I was bare mouth any bitch who meant to appreciate me and see me, that that's who he is. I, you talking about my teeth or having something to say about my teeth being raggedy or me not having nothing or however you feel about me judging, they're going to judge me. That's between you and God. That's between you and God. Because at the end of the day, I still, I just say, I just be sad for people because obviously people that got to make fun of people or whatever they're going through or whatever they experience, you know, those people are sick people. And these are so-called you know, church folks. And I got nothing against people that choose to be, do the religion that they relig that they do, but them are the ones that's such the hypocrites, the hoop through the hoops. You understand? It's like. And you don't even have to be religious to be a hypocrite because even in spirituality, you got people that's messed up out here. Humala, humala, he lies. But yeah, behind closed doors and in their heart, they out here practicing magic and doing messed up stuff to people too. It ain't got no religion to it. It ain't got no color to it. It ain't got no, no gender to it. It's just a person personality and their heart. If they cold hearted, they cold hearted. If they loving hearted and warm hearted, that's what they are. It's soulless, souls and everything and soullessness and everything. We just like to box things. Everything is susceptible to be have good in it and, 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 and bad in it, or negative in it and positive, or low vibrational, high vibrational. And we sometimes we go in different ways with that shit. You know? We can be high vibrational in one essence and then low vibration in another. But at the end of the day, it's about the heart. What is going to happen when your heart is weighed with that feather? Hmm? Is your heart as light as a feather? That's what you need to ask yourself. Because if you're out here in competition and jealousy and hate and envy and insecurities and fear and, and guilt, uh, confirmation verb, excuse me. Then your heart ain't, ain't, ain't light as a feather. If you're out here trying to deliberately hurt people, and you can't let your triggers cause you to learn from them, then your heart is not light as a feather. I'm a human. I get triggered by things, but I have to see myself like, well, why is that triggering me? Oh, it's okay. That person's uh, ignorant. Well, I have to take accountability uh, or see that that ain't even me. So that's a them problem, not a me problem. And then, you know, you move on. It can trigger you when you know people are talking about you. When you know something is relatable to you, it can trigger you. But how are you going to react to that trigger? Are you going to let that trigger cause you to be foolish as the next person? Or are you going to learn from it and see yourself and accept that that's not me? Or if that is something to do with me, I don't care. That's my heart is not messed up. Theirs are. You know? 
And we have to allow those triggers to help us to see ourselves. Like, and be like, okay, so at one point in time, I did do this. Maybe it's something I still need to work on. Okay, I'm not going to let that burden me because somebody got something to say about who I am or who I ain't. Or they trying to judge me because maybe these people just judging me because I am who I am. And they ain't who they ain't. Or they feel some type of way about how I decide to live my, walk, my life and walk in my authority. I can't let nobody trigger me because they don't like who I am. They can say what they want to say. At the end of the day, it's a them problem, not a me problem, once again. And that's why you be like, you know what, okay, so that whatever, it triggered me. You know, it, I, I see why, but it don't matter. See what I'm saying? And keep it moving. And don't entertain the bullshit. <clears throat> we just got to choose not to entertain it. It's all right to acknowledge it, you know? But let it make you and not break you. Because us showing up to be the better version of ourselves is what's shaking them anyway. And the only reason they're breaking is because of their own decisions. The only way, the only reason we break is because of the own decisions that we make for ourselves is going to break us or make us. Whatever shake us. So, you know. Okay, so that's the channel message. I'm going to get into this reading because y'all know what your girl is here for. <clears throat> still we got going on still we got going on 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 still we got going on still we got going on 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 still we got going on beautiful diamonds of light <clears throat> I had said when I was cleansing my um, cards that I was going to start with the game of life okay this comes from the board game, Game of Life. We got the board game. I was got to take these cards and, you know, play with them. You know what I'm saying? I do not own any rights to these games or these cards. I am using these cards for entertainment purposes. Only everything that I do, my readings, everything that I do, I show up with, is for entertainment purposes only. All right? All the way back from 2015. Everything I've done, I've posted online. It's been for entertainment purposes only. And I hold, I hold no rights to these cards right here or this game. But I'm grateful to be able to use these because spirits got, like I say, um, source God speak through everything. The music, you know, the t the TV, television shows, nature, uh, our, uh, every colors, numbers, you know, symbols. Like, you just have to know that God is every and all things and and. and that's why I don't like, and there's no, there is no such thing as um, separation of gods. Although we all are individual, we still a whole, any, all the energy is what it is. And every, our uh, frequencies can be differences. All right. That's why if you think about music, there's different, if you, because uh, they're giving me this piano scenario, the, 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 the pianos can go from high pitch, just like everything else, strings, instruments can go from high pitch to low pitches, all right? But it's still all sounds, it's still all music, right? A piano is a piano. And although pianos are different from guitars and guitars are different from string energy, a string, it's still a string instrument, so different from horn energies, different from drums. They're all different, different sounds, frequencies, vibrations, but they're all instruments. But all of it is part of God. It's like colors and numbers and everything else. God is not just no one thing. It's everything. And it can also be what you people consider nothing at the same time. Because it's, it's not even, we put a name to it. It's just energy. It's just energy, frequencies, and vibrations. It's creation. That's it. Okay? But we're going to see what the game of life is about. Because we can play the game of life. All right? That's what we're doing. We're playing the game of life. We're having a life experience. What do you choose to play? What pieces of the puzzles are there? What pieces on the board? Okay, what you want to do? What direction you want to take? Huh? 
Because if you think about the game of life, you got to direct. You, you, you can choose to do a career. You can choose to go to college. You can choose not to go to college. You have a choice, but if you go to college, you got to up that money. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You can choose, if you get the opportunity to stand on uh, uh, land, see, and some of these things, you have to land on these places to be able to have these experiences. So you have to be in certain situations in your life. You have to be born in certain families. You have to have certain mothers and fathers. You have to have certain, <coughs> excuse me, confirmation, brackets, even in this life, to be able to have certain experiences. Or you get work really hard to get be able to get there because even in the game of life, if you didn't end up going to college, you couldn't have you couldn't make certain incomes. If you did go to college, all right. If you paid to go to college, if you got the opportunity, but you still had you still could um. It's some some of these careers in here. Even though you didn't go to college for it, you can get that bonus pay and get paid just as much as or something that you went to college for. You see what I'm saying with the bonus pay, depending on what direction you went in to become an entrepreneur. And you gotta understand the game of lives is still a construct that was put together through my man too. But that's what with this board game, you can land on whether you want to get married or not, whether you want to have kids. You know what I'm saying? So this is what we're doing. This is the game of life. So I really appreciate this deck right here. I really appreciate these cards. I, you know what? I, I would like if they actually created a deck for readers. That would be nice. You know what I'm saying? Maybe different board games could come up with that. See, I always have brilliant ideas. You see what I'm saying? I always, spirit and source always give me things. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but I'm sharing this because I'm using this. So, these companies, because it's readers would love to be able to, you know, I hadn't seen nobody else do it yet. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm the first one that I know to decide to use some board go, pour, uh, a board game cards to read. I hadn't seen it. I hadn't seen it. And Spirit told me to use it. So, I'm here for it. <clears throat> Beautiful game of life. Cards. What do we intuitively energetically need to know for April the 28th through May the 1st, 2023 for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? Thank you for nothing but divine truth and clarity. What is the beautiful diamonds I like to connect? Collective, connected. Okay, so we, we meant to connect, but as I said, connected, it was a separation. So, some type of separation been going on long enough, and there's some type of connection that's about to take place. I need to, to take place. Right. I clear these cards real good, but all of my decks. Look, yeah, yeah, something. Let's see what comes out. Okay. Mind, body, soul, and spirit. Mind. I would love to have like a bigger deck to be able to hold. Cause these are very small cards. Like if these was if these was made and put in and a little bit of more was put to it in a different way. Um, word it a different way or something. Like, I would like that. Shit, I might mess around and make a dig. But this, you know, that's what we do, though. But for this game in particular, I love it. I love it. It's a lot out here that I can get just from off of the... Because I'm an artist, right? It's art. You see how it's art here? So I could pull messages from the art, from the letters, for the colors, red and black. You know what I'm saying? I get Russian roulette from that, right? So you're landing on, you're playing the game, you're making a decision, you're taking a chance here. Like it's different things spin, like it's different numbers, prices up here. So out of these cards, and on top of that, you got the career, the action cards, the career cards, the house. So I love this. Game of life. Make your girl a, uh, a deck card. Make me an actual card, a card of decks, okay? So I can I can make them make them, um, maybe more informative. But I love the art, I love the concept, I love the everything. Just if even if you turn these this game into a deck, what I can use, where they can be bigger and they can, I, I would love that. I would appreciate that. Cause but I like this, but you know I would like to, you know to actually have a. A, a, a card, a, a, a deck for that. <clears throat> you can call it a two of the deck, you can call it an energy deck, game of life energy deck, or just a game of life 
uh, reading cards. Body. See this like, look, spread the wealth. From that I get generational wealth. Then look, what's the top of the deck for me right here? Generational wealth. Okay, so confirmation. <laughs> and then you got someone stolen in here. It's just left to you by a loved one on top. Y'all see how that works? I love this. I love this energy. Spirit told me to start with this. So if the game of life company was to make me a, a, a make, not just me, make a deck of cards for us to read, I, I would get it. I would definitely purchase it. I would definitely purchase it. I would definitely purchase it. Give some board games. And this is definitely a good one here. I was guided to do this. I was guided to do it a long time ago, and I did. I was like, how long? But then I kept messing with them on my own, and it was like, just take them out there. I don't own the rights to this, but, you know, I'm still using it, and it's very informative. I love it. Look, police officer, like, you got Look, there's so many things I can get from out this card. And it don't have to mean exactly what it say. You can pull it whatever you, like, the cards we buy. Like, they don't. Whatever spirit or source or your energy, your consciousness show you, I'll tell you what that card means. <clears throat> Confirmation birth. Excuse me. That's exactly what it means. So, spirit. Like the doctor card. That to me. It could be a doctor after a do doctor. You could be about to become a doctor. It could be somebody dealing with health issues. And then it depends on what what you pick up and what other cards you might be pulling out to go behind it you can get a you know a whole insight with it like i love this i love these little mini cards right here and i just would love if they actually made a a, a nice size deck you know because this is my small hold up, this is my smallest deck right here it's the um lemurian deck and this is a small deck but look how small these cards are to this not too much smaller but they're definitely smaller but then they're thin they're so thin so I would love to have a, a little bigger, you know what I'm saying? A nice size would be bigger, be nice. And because it's a lot of cards here. It's it's a lot. So this would be a healthy size deck. You know what I'm saying? They can even switch up the thing where you could do a whole different career thing and make the career in deck and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Then a whole nother house deck to make the house. You know what I'm, I'm just saying? I'm just saying. That's how my mind works, right? <laughs> you know? <what I'm? clears throat> but anywho. That's for the mind. I don't know. Should I read these first? Yeah, I'm just go through this right here. The life cards. And then I might, you know, see what come behind. What I'm going to do next. So we got houseboat out here. And this is house, okay? I'm going to go through them first. You got model. That's a career. You got beautify your town with a new mural. So, of course, art. You know what I'm saying? Just to do with art. Um, somebody could be a, a artist, could paint. You know what I'm saying? Actually, did a mural. All right, assemble. Somebody might put a team together to paint a mural for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? A for a group, for a company, or something like that. Um, somebody could model. You know what I'm saying? Let me see going. Okay. So we got crowdfund your new small business venture and you got cozy cottage. You fall while rescuing a kitten stuck in a tree. Now what I get from this is somebody gonna make a fall and they're gonna need some type of rescuing. It might not be exactly what the card says, so I, I'm gonna tell you what energy I'm picking up from. Then we got dream villa. So we got a lot of houses here. So these might be people dream homes or what people actually doing or something that's um, to do with a boat here. I mean, I'm going to see what it say, what I get as I, some of these same cars be coming out all the time and they be stoking me. I'm like, dang, okay. So just confirmation. So you got build your, build your town and skate park. So again, I picked up on some energy a while back about somebody might want somebody to paint like the, the skate park somebody building a skate belt park or built a skate park or somebody skate park or some type of skate something to do with skates or something somebody could want you to uh want to use you or your creation and your or your own um, designs or something because it says design your own clothing line right somebody could design your own clothing line somebody could want you to use your designs on their skate park on their skates or something like that somebody could want to use your designs you know your your art you, you as an artist okay Compete for the world's next great invention. You know what I'm saying? Like an invention right there, right? 
even just an idea, an invention of an idea. Like I just had an inventive idea to really turn these into like decks, like these cars into a deck. That's that's an inventive idea. That's something that's, you know, somebody could invest in, you know? Fender Bender and Holiday, Happy Holidays. Let me go get my glasses, y'all. Give me a second. Okay, beautiful diamonds of life, where were we? I had to go pick my daughter up, so I gotta get back in the motion of things, all right? Um, I was talking about, I pulled out the life cards, all right? The game of life, we're talking about the game of life, and I pulled out the first column of the mind. That's what I posted with daughter. I was going to get my glasses, but then I realized it's time to get my daughter, so give me a second. I'm gonna leave the camera on until I know exactly what it is. <clears throat> So I want to share that this is my daughter's painting, y'all. This is what she just finished not long ago. We was painting together. I told her I would share it. She did such a beautiful job. I'm so proud of her. Um, she's she's more of a techie by heart, but you know her painting skills have gotten a lot better. She's been painting. She has a few of her own paintings in her room that she's already done and. Um, I have really three beautiful artists on my hands. My my middle daughter, she's she loves anime. She that's who inspired my daughter, uh, my my baby daughter. She always thinks about her sister, and you know she's inspired by her sister. She loves anime too. She loves watching anime. So um, <clears throat> that's one of the Sailor Moon something like that um, that she she painted right here. So uh, with a lot of hearts around her, and she got an eye winking. So. Um, that's that one, but my um my middle daughter, she oh she's very she's very talented. Um I made sure like the, um not this past Christmas, um um Christmas before. Her birthday is coming up too. I don't know what's going on with her, but I'm not gonna let that stress me or worry me. I'm giving that to Source Creator. She's very artistic. Like her she's gonna be a, a beautiful artist. I'm talking about she got a natural, and that's the thing. I I've been doing arts and crafts and making sure my girls have the things to embrace their, you know, gifts and their talents and things they love. Like I didn't have that growing up. If I would have had people to like make sure I had pencils and coloring stuff and stuff like that, I'd probably be a really, 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 really good at art, like a whole other level. <laughs> but like I said, I just started painting five years ago, so um. But I've always had the potential to do stuff like that. And so some stuff just comes naturally to us. And, um, yeah, I just thought I'd share that. Um, and then my oldest daughter did do an owl painting a while back, um, some years back, and uh, sipping something she went with my twin sisters to do. And she did a beautiful job on that owl. So, you know what I'm saying? They just natural, natural little talented uh, beings, you know, um, a lot of them don't get their phenotype from me, but they definitely get their abilities from me that I know. <clears throat> um, they hear those things. So, yeah, I love it. I love to be able to do things like that with the children and stuff like that. Um, that's what inspired me to get into art, doing arts and crafts and things with my daughter, who was doing arts and crafts projects, and then my daughter had a project that I was guided while I was in school to start painting. So I was getting these messages that they wanted me to paint. And at first I was annoying and then it was nudging me. They're like, nah, we need you to paint. This is what you're going to be doing. And here I am today, five years later. And I, I love it. It's been a beautiful, it's a beautiful journey for me. You know, everybody's different. Everybody not meant to be artists. Okay. Everybody have different things. We have different things we can do. Um, it don't even have to be things you don't have to do nothing. Art, art is a lot of things. Singing, um, craft, sculpture, like everything is art. Like I say, the world is art creation. That's God, you know? <laughs> but I've honestly always had the ability to sketch and draw and stuff like that. It's just natural for me. Um, I just never was gifted with the things. Uh, took took these things up uh, ahead of my life because I was always in um, survival mode and 
I actually been grateful to be able to, my isolation has been able to, even though people doing isolation spells on me, it was really the best thing that ever could happen to me. Even today, people try to do isolation spells on me and not only are they trying to mess with my isolation spells, like, oh, we isolated her, but we they, now they're trying to mess with my sacral chakra, but I don't let that stop me either. I'm still working on my first, my, my latest painting. <laughs> It's slow because I can feel the heaviness of the energy. They are working really hard to try to steal me. Like they are working really hard to try to set me, keep me from not being motivated, try to keep me procrastinating, try to keep me, you know, when I get ready to want to paint and do stuff like that, they try to mess with my vision. They start to start giving me headaches. They start to start digging in my bag. Start trying to cause me pain. I know it's spell work being done, but I fight through it. I'm not gonna let that beat me. I'm gonna show people in the world that God is real. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to continue to show up for me and show out 50 on the 5000 on the clock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> back to the message. We had the Dream Villa out. Beauty, beautify your town with a new mural. Yeah, so that's that's the artist thing, right? Um, Something about skates here. Um, Whether it's a skate park or the dual skates and fashion designing. And modeling somebody could okay so design your own clothes D design your own clothing line now i'm doing that many of you are doing that so somebody might want to model your clothing here all right or <clears throat> you're going to become some type of star or you're going to become some type of model role model um um trendsetter or something like that or something that you do in modeling or doing your clothes all right Something to do with designing your clothes here. Of course, I use my art to design. I take my original pieces and I make pieces. I also design with those. So I turn my original arts into other designs and I put them on art and I create artwork. Um, I did this. I started this like, I want to say, four years ago. Three, four years ago. Um, and I'm barely still getting any notoriety about, uh, of it. And then I've seen people over the years doing it and like excelling in it. You know what I'm saying? And... um. It ain't always who you know either. Um, it ain't always what you know either. You know, but um, a lot of times it do got to do with who you know. But it's been my journey. Everything. Y'all think I be playing. It's been spell work done on me. It's so many people over my life that have been so envious and jealous of me and my greatness. And it's still this people I don't even know. They're out here trying to cipher my gifts too. People that I came across my social media platforms shit over the years. You know what I'm saying? Been trying to hit me up. I envious because they know I had the potential to do great things, but it's not going to stop nothing. Okay. And, um, but yeah, so Spirit wants you to keep hustling. All right. Whoever you are, um, your hard work is going to pay off. Oh, so there we go. And like I say, I've been, <laughs> this is confirmation. I've been doing this for five years, you know, with intuitive art, paint art. Um, predictive art and stuff like that. I've been doing this for five years. I've been doing reading for five years. I've been bringing myself all my beautiful gifts and what I'm, I um, I come with for five years. Some of it I don't tap into as much. Like I don't sing all the time. I don't um do poetry all the time. I have a couple of poems that I did, but I have the capacity to do all of that. You know, it's been people that stole from me and did stuff on me and trying to siphon my energy and you know damper my light. I, I let people. Caused me to dim my light over the years. Um, but I'm here to step up and show out. I'm not giving up. And I hadn't given up despite it all. Because um, I really love what I do. But so Spirit said keep hustling. <clears throat> all right. Uh, crowdfund your new small business business features. So somebody here. Um, because you keep hustling. Because you kept hustling. Because you keep showing up for yourself. You do have some type of opportunity that's coming up for you. Um. From when you design your own clothing, something to do with art here. Like I say, this is definitely, like I tell everybody, my energy, I read my energy. So, I only take what resonates because I also can resonate with the collective. Because a lot of people that design clothes, a lot of people that do art, you know what I'm saying? So, take what resonates. I'm not the only one to do this thing, these things. But, something is coming up where somebody could be want to model your clothing line, your clothing designs. Or uh, wanting you to be a model. You could actually be a model. You can get into modeling. Somebody could want you to model. Somebody could see you for your beauty or whatever. So that could be an opportunity. Um, somebody is about to be gifted with something. Compete in the world's next great invention. So somebody could want... Okay, so you could be inventing something, right? And you can be... um Competing in some type of contest. 
Um, uh, because people could be in competing with you, all right. Um, trying to come up with new inventive ways because I see you um as this great invention inventor, but I'm getting that people want to work with you here. People want to venture with you. People want to work with you and venture with you because they see your creativity. They see your outlook. They see your vision. They want to know, you know, more and more what you have to offer. All right. Um, we got Fender Bender here. And you fall while rescuing a kitten stuck in a tree. So look out for car accidents. Be careful driving here. Um, medical bills. So this is standing out to me. This could be somebody here in a bad car accident all right a careless driver i'm getting this is karmic energy somebody that been directing bad energy towards you or somebody's trying to direct some type of energy towards you to make make you be in a car a bad car accident What is this spirit? Why is this here? Somebody's trying to break you. Somebody's trying to break you. Trying to break you so you won't shine. Because what's standing out to me is this light here. You see how this light here, this car, this bend, this this light from this the bumper or whatever. Somebody's trying to cause you to be in an accident. Whether it's a physical car accident or trying to just wreck your life here and you see how somebody wants you to fall so your light don't shine somebody wants to put your light out all right that's what spirit saying with that <clears throat> yeah with that somebody wants you to fall thank you spirit somebody wants you to fall here all right they don't like that you're shining so so they could be trying to see energy away they like i said cause you to be into some type of car accident or they're just trying to see energy already hoping that you'll wreck on your way up, hoping you a wreck, hoping you don't be able to succeed in what you do. Yeah, somebody's trying to, I think, thank you, Spirit. Somebody's trying to send energy your way towards what you do, whether you create, whether you fight fashion design, whether you're an artist, whatever you're doing, working towards to, uh, that you've been hustling in, that's going to bring you some type of stardom. You see the stars in the, in the stair, uh, in, in the, um, lane, walking lane there? Yeah, some walk, somebody's walking into stardom. The flashing lights are on you. You see how the lights is flashing on that stage? You're walking into your star, stardom. And the lights are flashing on you because you're you this star. You're walking into your stardom. And it's people that don't like this. So they're trying to cause you to fall. They're trying to send you negative energy to cause you to... They're trying to break you. They want you to fall down. They don't want you to succeed in this. It can be four people coming together to do this to you, trying to cause you these... Trying to cause you this... This energy, or oh, this is just four people that's wanting to come and work with you here. The spirit says keep hustling, man, because it's going to take you to your stardom. No matter what these people are doing, this is going to end up being their calm. calm. Something's very serious to hear about. Um, build your own town. Build your town and skate park. So something to do with skates. Somebody could want to work with you to do a skate park. Maybe they want you to paint something, um, make something, invent something with them. <clears throat> And I'm also getting into something about safety here with this helmet. Whatever this is that's about to come to you to do with this, something to do with skates or skate park or something to do with um a park period of uh, painting some type of mural for a park or something like it's safe for you to do this because he got the helmet on the safety. So if some opportunity like this come to you to do with your craft, to do what you love to do, it's safe for you to do this. <clears throat> Something's about to be gifted to you here. Somebody's coming to gift you with this opportunity. But there's people that don't want to see you do it. It could be three people in particular. <clears throat> um, with these three houses. Okay, so these could be three offers. Because I'm looking at the 120K, 100K, 300K. This is a dream come true. This is gonna this is gonna walk you into your dream. Maybe right now you live in some cozy cottage or you know um, a house. You know what I'm saying? Like a house. You might stay in something small. Small. <laughs> it's like spirit say you finna go from something small to something huge here. So you could live in like an apartment or a small little house. A house is a apartment the size of a boat. <clears throat> A little cozy cottage, a little small home, and you're about to move into your dream villa, your dream home. 
if that's what you want. Some of you might want a houseboat. Some of you might actually want a little cozy cottage. Somebody might actually <clears throat> live on a houseboat or something like that or live in a cozy, cozy cottage that um, want to work with you. I'm getting also you something about traveling by boat. I'm getting yacht. Even though it's not a yacht, I'm getting something about a yacht. Maybe that's some of you dream your dreams. Some something somebody wants. That's a dream come true with this dream villa. Like anything that you want to happen for you about your dream, your dreams is about to come true. And it's gonna um bring you a lot of a lot of um a lot of luck. <clears throat> Somebody's willing to gamble, take a chance with you. I'm getting what this red and black. Somebody's willing to gamble with you. They wanna they they're trying to figure out how what what amount they want to invest in, or I want you to put, choose amount. <clears throat> okay, that's for the mind. Let's see what else go go with this. Oh, yeah, let me drink some water. My throat's up. Spread the wealth. See, I told you your dreams is coming true. So you're about to become wealthy. This is generational wealth. Like I said, the, 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 in the beginning, generational wealth here is what's at the top of the day. <clears throat> and then also, oh, somebody stole something from you. But um, when you get this, um, spread the wealth. Okay, obviously you coming into something. Somebody might want to spread their wealth with you. Somebody wanting to spread their wealth with you. Are you going to have enough money to spread the wealth to help other people out, to invest in other things? Spirit is saying here, we have published a child's children's book. <clears throat> Some of you could want to publish a children's book. Some of you could just want to publish a book, period. But this could do with a child. As I did bring out my child's painting, right? So maybe you want to publish some type of book here, a children's book. You have the potential of something you're working on or you got it to do. All right. Build an in-ground pool with a water side. Yeah, here we go. This dream villa. I told you somebody about to get their dream home and some of you must want some type of in-ground pool or something like that. And that's one of my dreams. I want, I want to, um, I want a, a pool. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my, that's what I want. That's what I, that's one of my visions right here. So I do want to, um, so some, so that is going to happen to for somebody here because <clears throat> you're going to come into a lot of generational wealth. Be a guest on your co-worker's live stream. stream. So somebody could want you to be a guest star on their live stream or on their show or something like that. You are an upcoming artist. See, confirmation, artists out here. <clears throat> Keep hustling. I told y'all I'll be pulling up on my um. This is literally an artist artist, like painting. Like, you know. So with this here, you're on the upcoming. You're on the up and the up. And you don't have to go, don't have to be painting, spirit saying, whatever your archer street is. But like I say, I read my energy for the most part. Because I be reading my energy. And this be my life story, all right? This be my energy that I pick up on. But I can also resonate. I do. Whoever the dimes are like, whoever the collective is, if this resonates for you, it's for you too, okay? But this is definitely saying some type of somebody that likes to paint that's an artist. You are an upcoming artist, okay? <clears throat> so, yes, dreams coming true. Engineer, we got engineer here. Inventive. Somebody wants you to, maybe you're going to be inventing something, engineering something, some type of inventions that you have in your in your mind or that you came up with or that you want to do, you're going to be able to do that because that's something that I've, it's inventions that I've came up with that I was guided to give it to by source and I haven't been able to do it yet because I don't have the funds and the resources um, or the, really the know-how um, to really build this. Like I can play around with it and figure it out, but what I'm, what I'm inventing and what I'm coming up with for the reason that's with is, has not, I know it hasn't been done, but, um, but it's very, very, it's what, I'm not going to share it because nobody, I'm not letting nobody snatch that from me. But whoever you are engineering me, you're actually be going to be able to engineer something, invent something. And that's where it comes up here, right here out of this. Um, <clears throat> It's just confirmation on whatever you're trying to invent, whatever you're trying to create, whatever you're trying to do. Keep at it. Keep hustling. Keep going up at it, Spirit. Say it's going to pay off in the long run. It is. It's going to happen for you. Don't give up. Keep pushing through. All right, 
People gonna be trying to send storms your way to try to stop you from moving forward, but don't worry about it. They can't do nothing. Look, pay off a stranger's student loan. Maybe you got student loans. You, you, you can pay off. Somebody could be coming. A stranger could be about to pay off your school student loans. Are you gonna have? They say spread the wealth. Are you gonna have enough wealth come in to where you're gonna pay off somebody's student loans? <clears throat> It's time to remodel your kitchen. Somebody could be remodeling their kitchen or when you get this dream home or whatever you're about to get in the near future or what's coming up for you, you're going to be remodeling the kitchen the way you want it to be for you. Are you also doing this? Somebody could be doing this. <clears throat> your poem is the finalist in a national contest. Somebody poem here. All right. Like I say, some of you might do poetry, you know. This could have already happened for me. Like I told you, somebody stole. This could be energy that already happened. Somebody stole three of my thick notebooks that I did from 2001 to 2007. Imagine how many poems that was. Y'all see how I paint? I wrote poems just as much, just as fast. Sometimes I would write like three, depending on the poem, I could write three poems um, in an hour. Depending on what it was about, like, or faster or more. Like, I used to write poems to the run. That was way out of hill. And maybe one of my poems, the person that stole my poem, that passed away. Um, hell, I know it could have been. She could have put, because she had a book, too. She probably stole those stole those poems from somebody else. So she wrote poetry or whatever. But she put she published my poetry. And it probably could have got first place in the contest. And I don't even know it, but it's going to cycle back around. Maybe something will be exposed to you about that. Uh, either way, if somebody stole something from you, it's going to come back to you anyway. Or somebody out there actually writes poetry and you're about to get a first place prize for that. All right? Take what resonates. <clears throat> Your great aunt leaves you her mansion. Like I say, somebody's about to buy their dream home. Somebody could have been left something here. Somebody could have left you something. It don't have to be a mansion, but they could have left you millions. I've been picking up on that energy. It's crazy because a lot of these same energies be keep coming out, y'all. Game not just got real. Somebody wants to take a gamble on you. <clears throat> the number two could be significant. It'd be two, two to three people. I'm looking at three cards. Two, one person is watching you has made a decision. I'm looking at three cards with three ship, chips. It's three people. One has one one person you might know or don't know, but it's this one person that's looking at you trying to get these other people to invest. Maybe they don't see it yet or they haven't made a decision yet, but they're going to make a decision to take a gamble on you with some type of opportunities or to work with you. Somebody could actually be a gambler out here too. Actually gamble. They have a gambling problem. Confirmation from this. Yes, yeah. Small business. Support your small business. Somebody do want to support somebody's small business, willing to take a gamble on you. One person is definitely all in, and it's two other people that's possibly going to come, and, and, and it's going to be three people in all. In all. I'm getting two of these opportunities, might be a no go, but that one. One opportunity could be two people that's involved here, but two of them you could be blind to. Uh, or two of these opportunities are a no-go. You're not meant to do them or something like that, and you're meant to go with something. Okay, so whenever these opportunities come around, if you're seeing two, 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 or twos, that's that yes, that's that go sign. Or the two is telling you, yes, you're going to have all three of these opportunities. I'm seeing two birds flying right now, two crows. So... Two of them could be people that's falsely coming your way because they got negative agendas, okay? And then there's one that's really here to support you and really going to, that's the one you're going to go with. Spirit say, it don't matter who come to you. These people that's coming to you, um, that's trying to bring you a false offer, or they're going to be dealt with accordingly. So they're not going to have the opportunity to come your way. That's why those two face down. But... It is one that's literally coming through for you that's going to change your life forever. <clears throat> and somebody has been gambling here 
with your life. We got the police here involved. Something to do with the police. Somebody could be going to jail for gambling bets. Something just got real for somebody when they realize they're going to jail for something. Maybe somebody stole something from somebody. Some type of inheritance mansion or something that was left to you here. Sell your old car. So somebody's going to be selling their old car because you're about to get a new one. Or you could have just bought, somebody could have just sold you their old car because that's just what happened to me. Some of this energy could have already happened or not happened or going to happen. Just take what resonates. Investment. I told you somebody's investing here. Yeah. Support your small business. We got high rise and penthouse. This could be some type of athlete here. Okay. Somebody could be a police officer too that want to invest in you. Somebody could see your potential. I don't know like why I want to cry. Somebody's no. Somebody's crying because they're going to jail. Somebody's sad. Somebody's crying because they're going to jail. Yeah, penthouse. What I'm getting from the penthouse is penitentiary. Yeah, because I'm what's showing me here is the city, the building cities in the behind this car here. You see the building city, and then I see the buildings here around this penthouse. Somebody's going to the penitentiary because they stole something from you. Yeah, and the shit just got real for them. Whatever they were trying to do, gamble with your money, gamble with your success, gamble with something to do with you here. They they on their way out. That's it. They get locked up for gambling with you. For gambling with your well-being. Uh, confirmation verb. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. What did I say? Yeah, because somebody was trying to come up with some type of inventive way here. Engineering something here to stop you from getting whatever was left to you, leaves you a mansion. It don't have to be a mansion, but it could be money. Or inheritance. Somebody that gambles could have stole this. We got athlete here. Competition here. 